So I've been losing weight for a couple of weeks now with Weight Watchers and I wanted to start making some spreads for my journal and so I'm going to do some goal spreads. This is Ruby from the Useful Journal and I do journaling. I do creative spreads but I also review journals and yeah this is just part of my creative spread making. I have a wardrobe full of clothes that no longer fit me and clothes that I really want to get back into. So it's a bit of an incentive for me to lose weight that I can wear my beautiful clothes again. Um, COVID made it very easy to put on weight because you're home all the time and so you just wore trackies all the time. But what I want to do here is have a spread that kind of gives me incentive to get back into those clothes that I really miss. So I'm doing a spread that'll have a box for each outfit and then I will just bear with me a second box for each uh, outfit and then I will um, put the weight that I expect to be able to get back into that outfit and the and then I'll leave a gap for recording the weight that I actually end up being when I get back into that outfit so we'll see this is in the front of my journal I always knew this year that I would be aiming to lose weight at some point it did take me six months to finally get on with it but I got there in the end so I've got a pattern there so I'm gonna oh and it's tall cut through probably I'll fix that afterwards my knife didn't go all the way through but that's because I don't want to cut through the page there we go so, now I keep a which I find very handy a swatches journal which has all my washi tape but also has all, most of my pens in it and I want a colour that's going to go with that so the copper cabana one's probably a good one yeah my metallics aren't quite the right colour for the jelly rolls that one's close that's this one but it's probably a little bit light there we go I like having a separate swatch journal because then you're not having to redo it every journal and I refer to that all the time. So if we go to my grid guide at the back, my grid guide to get four across, one, two, three, four, they are 10 boxes or 3.5 centimeters each. So then I know to do, so seven is halfway, and then I've got 3.5 and 10 and a half, and that's my lines. So now the outfits, so eat the first to last. So this one is stretchy and I know I'll fit in that soon. It's only just been recent that I haven't been able to get it on. This is just a, um, down jacket and some bike shorts and I know I can get into them fairly quickly that one is a wool coat that I made myself and then this one fits reasonably well it's just I need my boobs to get a bit smaller I love this satin green skirt with black polka dots love it and then this is getting down the smaller end I think that one's probably next and then that's my Alana Hill jacket which I adore and then this outfit I have never worn because I bought it too small but I love it and I'd love to be able to try and wear it so there we go these photo photos are on a sticky backing it's so important to have a goal and something that you're aiming for something that you want to achieve and it might be something completely unrelated to weight itself it could be fitness so a lot of people have a set a goal of being able to run a marathon or something so there we go that's how that's going to look so i'm 
going to do my writing with one of my chameleon pens. These pens do actually change colour. So the idea is that you put it in there just for a couple of seconds and then it'll start writing in the colour that you just added it to. Now if I want to shift from the pale back to the dark, I put the pale lid on the dark pen three seconds and it should start with the paler colour. Here, let's see if it does. Yep, starts with the paler colour and it should get darker. Putting in the actual weight means that I get to kind of mark these off as I go. When I can get that piece of clothing on again, that means I'm entering the actual weight and I can mark it off. So that's how I will show my progress. Now you should know I am not original at all with my lettering. I copy it all off stuff I find on Pinterest. I'm not a font creator, but I do love playing around with. So, outfit goal. I kind of want to get the spacing right. That one finished. This side. Well, thanks for joining me and I hope I've inspired you. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.